you editing? You're damn right I'm editing. I'm an editor. What do you think I do in here all day? Shut the door and pretend I'm captain of the Enterprise? Whoa, somebody didn't get a balloon with their hair cut. What's up, man? Remember Sarah, my psycho ex-girlfriend? The one you said dressed up as your mother for Halloween? That's the one. See, there's this antique watch that belonged to my Uncle Jerome, and in a fit of impulsive, romantic, post coital insanity, I gave it to her. I want it back. Well, go get it. I mean, what, what it's been a month, and, and you guys ended on good terms, right? It's not such a good terms anymore. Ever since I found out that six days after I got out, her yoga instructor got in. How do you know that? Hi, this is Sarah. And Steve. We can't come to the phone right now. We're having tantric sex. But if you leave your name and number, we'll get back to you in five hours. <sighs> I want my watch back. Well, go get it. You know they're home. And you never met this woman, so you don't know. I mean, Sarah exists in this crazed vortex of insanity. And if you get anywhere near, you'll get sucked in. This is perfectly normal, trust me. As soon as you have sex again, you'll forget all about her and the watch. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, it's just a watch. As long as they're not using it to time their endless orgasms. <laughs> what? Nothing. I want my watch back. <laughs> then why don't you just call her? I'm sure she's not even with the yoga guy anymore. Now she's with some banjo player. How do you know? You know what's bugging me? Enough! I don't want to hear about it anymore. Get over it, fix yourself, whatever. I just want the noise to stop. Is this about the watch? You told her? Sam. Everybody knows. Ever since she wrote that poem in the company newsletter, uh, The Empty Wrist. That was anonymous. Somehow we figured it out. It's not like I bring it up every day. Oh, no, 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 no. Just every anniversary, every Valentine's Day, every Arbor Day, her birthday, your birthday, my birthday. Yeah, I don't think you really want the watch back at all. I think what you really want is the time back. Nah, I want the watch back. <laughs> okay, 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 that's it. Give me Sarah's number, I'll get the watch back. Finally! <laughs> what? Four years I've been at this, waiting for you to crack. I was starting to bug myself. <laughs> okay, okay then. If, if I'm gonna get the watch, then you're gonna get my TV back from Danielle. What? I thought, I thought you didn't care about this stuff. What, what happened to get over it, fix yourself? Hey, I am over it, but since we're getting stuff back... You figured that you'd be petty too. Hey, that TV is picture in picture, and it should be for the Bulls and Baywatch, not figure skating and ready, set, cook. No, 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 it's, 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 it's fine, it's fine. I'd much rather deal with your crazy ex-girlfriend than mine. You have a deal. <laughs> what is it with guys? If this stuff is so important to you, why don't you just take it with you when you go? If you have to, make two trips. Hey, Danielle and I broke up in the middle of the night. A black man walking down the streets of Chicago, 2 o'clock in the morning, with a 27-inch TV and no receipt? I don't think so. <laughs> accomplished, I see, sir? Yes, indeedy. <laughs> so, was it tough convincing Danielle, the dental assistant, to relinquish her beloved 27-inch boob tube? Nope. All it took was a dozen roses, a little pleasant conversation, and a brand new 32-inch TV. <laughs> Nothing makes a woman happier than a few extra inches. <laughs> hey, Jack. Morning, Mr. K. What do you boys think about my getting implants? Uh, well, well, uh, actually, they're, they're, they're pretty big already. Uh, maybe just a bra, you know? For my calves? 
<laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 I, I meant, uh, I meant, uh, sure, uh, maybe, bra. <laughs> you know, that's, that's just something people our age say, you know. Right, bra? <laughs> sure thing, bra. <laughs> you see, I've always been self-conscious about my calves, and lately they've started to sag. Hell, pretty soon they'll be down around my ankles. <laughs> Show off. Don't worry. Those can't be real. Yes. Far too perky. Shelly, what do you think about implants? Uh, we're fine. Thanks. I can't believe you actually did it. You guys with your emotional attachment to things, it's not a puppy. It's a television set. Mitzi! you home! Oh, Mitzi. You know, I, I, I hate to interrupt this tearful reunion, but, uh, how'd it go with Sarah? Um, <clears throat> tiny complication. What? I may have accidentally slept with her. You accidentally slept with her? Yeah, you were right, Sam. The vortex, it was too powerful. I got sucked in. I can't believe you. How do you accidentally sleep with someone? Yeah, well, what? Did you slip coming around the corner and fall in? Not see a roller skate at the top of the stairs and whoops, was it good for you? If that's what happened, would that make it okay? Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> Did you at least get the watch back? Damn, that's what I forgot. Get it! As soon as he can talk again, he is gonna kick your ass. Hey, wait, 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 relax, relax. I can still get the watch back. Check Milo in action. Hi, Sarah. It's Lamar. No, 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 no. I was just wondering if we could. Hello? Damn, that was rude. You don't think she's upset because I left before she woke up this morning? You left! That's what you get when you send a hormone to do a human's job. Oh, like you could have done better. You're damn right I could have done better. You use the smallest organ of your body to get the job done, and I would have used the largest of mine. How are you going to get the watch back with your butt? <laughs> no, that's a fantastic idea. Oh, you know what I mean. Sam, I really don't think that it's appropriate for me to involve myself. Of with course your... she doesn't, because there is no way she can pull this off. Oh, yeah? Just because Lamar couldn't? <laughs> Sam, I'm telling you, she is all talk. Just like my next-door neighbor, Kevin Simmons, who said he had a cougar in his attic. But did we ever see it? No. <laughs> Man makes a good point. Produce the cougar. <laughs> all right, fine, I'll do it. But you have to let me do it my way, all right? Now, uh, what does she do? She runs a bike shop near DePaul. Perfect. I'll go down there tonight, strike up a conversation. We'll find out that we have a mutual friend, you, and then I'll tell her the truth. Done. Uh, uh, uh could the, the truth possibly include that I've been working out more and I have a 22-inch bicep and I'm dating Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the one from TV, not the movie? <laughs> I'm afraid not, Sam. Then what good is the truth? Fox Sports Chicago ad. Lifetime delete. <laughs> hey, Jack. Jack. Jack, you look phenomenal. What, new haircut? Oh, go on. Do they hurt? Oh, these are just falsies. The doctor wants me to wear them for a week to see if I like them. Sound advice. May we? Oh. <laughs> Go to town. Ooh, meaty. Mrs. Jack must be jubilant. I couldn't get her off me all night. I almost missed Charles Grodin. <laughs> How you doing, Tiny? <laughs> uh, she had... Yeah, but I, I think she's on a call. <laughs> Sarah, no! You just bought me lunch. You don't have to cook me dinner. <laughs> okay, okay, you're right. If we're going biking tomorrow, we got a carbo load tonight. Okay, 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 I'll see you at 8. Bye. Wait a minute, she's making you dinner? Oh, that's right. You had to buy her dinner. A cheap one, too. <laughs> hey, how do you know all of that? Oh, we had a long talk about Lamar. Say my name, say my name. Okay, focus, people. Where's the watch? 
Oh, I, I didn't get it. I haven't even mentioned you yet. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Whatever happened to done? Slow down. Why are you men always so quick to get to done? When will you learn that for women, done takes a little time? I want my watch. Oh, don't worry. I saw her wearing it at lunch, so... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have an official sighting? Old square face, dark band. Oh, I'm so happy. Why? <laughs> she didn't get it. But I will. Tonight at dinner, I'll just steer the conversation to ex-boyfriends and the ridiculous obsession with their stuff, which, of course, will lead to you. Hey. Hey. You'll have your watch first thing tomorrow morning. Yeah, uh, as long as you're over there, um, <clears throat> ask her where she got those nice towels. What? They were fuzzy. <laughs> bikes across the river, there's a five-mile hill that goes straight up. Oh, what a burn! <laughs> Can't wait! <laughs> hey, um, remember like 20 minutes ago when we were talking about guys? Sort of. Well, you know what's funny? When a guy gives you something and then after you break up, he's afraid to ask for it back. Girl, isn't that silly? Sure is. But the truth is, is that after you've broken up with a guy, you don't want stuff around reminding you of him. And if he just call you up and ask for it, you give it back in a second. The hell I would. <laughs> I'd rather pass a 10-speed through my colon. Kickstand down. You would? Oh, yeah, come on. I mean, we women know that once you give something up, it's gone. You don't see me tracking down Bobby DeMarco asking for my virginity back. <laughs> oh. No. No, I don't. Uh, may I use your bathroom? Oh, sure. It's through the bedroom on the right. I'll be right back. But, um, I forgot my underwear, and I... It's, it's fine. You don't have to explain. I don't? No, no. I mean, I like you, just... not in that way. I'm sorry. Oh. Well. Well, then you shouldn't have led me on like that. Well, I, I just thought we were being friendly. I mean, I had no idea oh, that... Oh, come that you on. Were, uh, you know. We had dinner. We badmouthed guys. We talked about the WNBA. <laughs> Where did you think that this was heading? Well, I, you know, I... No, no, it's... face it. You need help. And you can forget all about that little bike ride tomorrow, because I'm not going to waste any of my spandex on you. <laughs> Here it is, my friend. Milo, got a good enough view from over there? Here's your watch. I bet it feels good to have this whole thing behind you. <laughs> Wrong watch. I I'm sorry, Sam. I thought it was an antique. This is a fossil. They only look old. See, if this were an actual vintage watch, it wouldn't have this little blue light. <laughs> it's not my fault. It was a complicated evening. She thought I was a lesbian. What? <laughs> Well, I needed some way to explain why I was digging around in her panties. What? Well, well, I don't see what the big deal is anyway. Get over it. It's just a watch. I got a varsity jacket of Eric's. You don't see him whining around begging me for it back. <gasps> You're one of them. Oh, my God. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I, it's not the same thing. He doesn't even want the jacket back. How do you know? He never once asked me for it. Aha. Uh -huh. What is it, Matlock? See, here's the rule. If a guy gives you something, and after you break up, he never mentions it again, he wants it back. And he wants it back without strawberry yogurt gumming up all the numbers on a remote. You know, maybe this lesbian idea is something I should take a second look at. Look, guys, look, just thank you for all your help. But, you know, I, I think I'm just going to have to call Sarah myself. I mean, of the three of us, I'm the only one who succeeded in getting anything back. Milo's TV. 
And why should he be the only one here who's happy? Well, if it makes you feel any better, I'm not so happy anymore. What? Well, you see, last night when I went to take the TV home, I couldn't get it into my porch, so I decided to carry it three blocks to my place. It started to drizzle, I started to run, and let's just say the cops have my TV, and I got someplace else to be Tuesday, June 23rd. <laughs> Tough break. I gotta go make that call. Morning, people. What's going on? Hey, Jack, you look fantastic. Thanks. It's the calves, right? Well, the whole effect is nice. Where are you going all spiffed up? My ex-partner's funeral. I wasn't going to go, but then I figured, what the hell? Let's take these rubber babies out for a test drive. Well, the, uh, the ginormous. I know. And by this time tomorrow, they'll be real. Oh, I think I'm going to have to buy new pants. This is great! Well, I did it. I'm meeting Sarah for dinner tonight, at which point I will play the part of the petty ex-boyfriend and grovel for my watch back. Well, you might want to do it in a public place, and uh, uh, don't take your 10-speed. Why? Just don't. <laughs> you know the worst part about the TV story? The cop that busted me? A brother. That's cold. <laughs> Good morning, Robin. Sorry I'm late. Juan Carlos back in town? Uh-huh. I spent most of breakfast trying to convince the kids that the noise they heard last night was just the cat caught in the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Gotta protect the kids. <laughs> Worst part was shaving the cat. <laughs> Jack, what happened? What's with the long face and the skinny calves? I couldn't do it. Was it your insurance because my aunt has this plastic surgeon who fudges the paperwork? According to her insurance company, she's had a kidney transplant, cataract surgery, and three gallbladders removed. She looks fantastic. No, it was the women at the funeral. From the moment I got there, none of them looked me in the eye. They all just kept talking to my calves. It was demeaning. Robin, Robin, look what I found in your mail. What were you doing going through my mail? Not the point. The point is, Eric sent you a postcard. He's performing at the Comedy Hall right here in Chicago. You know, the Windy City. He sure is gonna be cold without that jacket. So? So, he's letting you know where he's gonna be so you can give it back. No, he's letting me know where he's gonna be because if he doesn't get 20 people to show up, he's gonna have to bust tables after his set. Look at you. You're one of them and don't even know it. No, I'm not. Hey, morning, morning. Did you guys catch that sunrise? Was that not incredible? You slept with her? No, no, I didn't. Yes, yes, you did. Same clothes, bed head. You're in the vortex. No, you know what? I, I don't think I'm even buying into that vortex thing anymore. <laughs> you are so in it. No, I'm not in it. We didn't even sleep together. I care about her too much to rush things. You writing this down, Lamar? So, so did you at least get the watch back? I got something better. I got the girl. Oh, and here she is. Cool. Oh, this is not good. Oh, no, no, it's okay. Sarah and I are in a new place now. Well, that place may feel a little crowded when it includes Lamar, Phantom of the Morning, and the man-hating panty sniffer from her underwear drawer. Oh, crap. Uh, uh, hi, dare. Hi, dare. I just came to bring you your backpack, but... How do you know Robin and Lorenzo? The bar. This is just creepy. No, Sarah. Sarah, wait. No, I, I can explain. You know, I thought this time our relationship was going to be based on honesty. It, it was. It, it is. I, I don't know these people. Stop following me around, you freaks. Why are you doing this, Sam? Do, do you just hate me? Is no, that it? No, no. Well, well, then why'd you send your friends to have sex with me and go to my underwear drawer? A lot of that was not intentional. <laughs> look, look, this whole thing started because... I wanted my Uncle Jerome's watch back. You mean this watch? Oh! <laughs> the watch that I dug out of my bottom drawer this morning because I was just so excited that we were back together. Bottom drawer. <laughs> and now you want it back. It was not too much trouble. <laughs> okay, here. Catch. Dad! Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's it. We're through! Yeah, you heard me. Hey, Sammy, are you all right? 
Yeah, I'm okay. Why? <laughs> Come on, man. You were too good for her. Of course I was. She's a lunatic. Look what she did to my watch. <laughs> All right. That's it. I got something I gotta do. Where are you going? I'm going to the hotel to give Eric his jacket back. Oh, so you admit you're one of them. No, I just don't want him to think that I'm one of them. Ten years from now, when I'm married with kids and living in my big house on the lake, the last thing I need is Eric showing up crying about how he can't get on with his life because I still have his jacket. Sweetheart, even in your wildest dreams, I ain't living on no lake. Too many bugs. <laughs> The most astounding thing has happened. I was down on the sidewalk inspecting an array of paperback books laid out on a towel when this object hits me in the head. Look, an <laughs> antique watch. A watch. Look, my watch. I'm free. I'm free. <laughs> Sorry, I thought this was Eric Russell's room. It is. He's in the shower. Oh. Um, excuse me, but who are you? I'm Tina, his fiance. Since when? About a month ago. It was his mother's. <laughs> it's, uh, lovely. So, is there anything I can do for you? Nah. Thanks. <laughs> Bye now. Bye. gonna have to rip this off of my cold, dead body. 